uh, looking for any soil borne diseases that might be impacting the plant from planting. Um, things like Rhizectonia, uh, Pythium, Phytophthora, diseases that might attack the plant as a young seedling stage. Um, generally they, they're soil borne and they can be controlled relatively easy if we uh, clearly identify that they're a problem and we certainly target them effectively. So what are the key things to be looking for when you're you know, looking at the roots in this plant? Similar for roots, you're looking at uh, areas that might have died off or, or spear tipping like you see traditionally with Rhizectonia where you'll see some scarring on those, those early developing roots. Um, pulling them out like I did is probably not, not a real good idea because you'll break those roots at a weak point and it makes it much harder to identify. So effectively to, to get a really good identification of any, any root diseases, you should be digging the plants out and washing the roots off rather than just pulling them out of the soil like I just did. So if you identify root diseases here, what sort of control measures would we be looking at putting in place? Um, things like Pythium and, and Phytophthora, we, uh, we could get away with maybe a, a foliar a ritamil or an application over the plants with a ritamil. Um, ensuring that we get some onto the soil and some incorporating the soil with either rainfall or irrigation is really what we're targeting because the, the disease Pythium and Phytophthora is, is down there, it, it's not up in here and the product won't move from there uh, down into the soil. So we really want to target the soil and make sure that we get it in there effectively.